Hey folks, we're going to do a quick video here using the Ugly Box, the Ugly Box electrolysis machine. If you're not familiar with that, or if you're interested in electrolysis, stay tuned. Okay, so I've done a video before with the Ugly Box, and um, it was my first time with the Ugly Box. I really didn't quite know what I was doing. Should have read the instructions a little more carefully. We're going to go ahead and give it a second try today. Um, still, despite that, it performed really well. What I'm going to do today, I have two coins here. Um, one is a trime, a um, silver coin here. It's a three cent trime, I believe. And um, this is not a coin I found. This is a coin I purchased. And the reason I want to clean this up, it's not worth a lot. It is a little tarnished, as you can see here. But um, I'm going to go ahead and do an updated video later this season here, once the weather turns a little, a little bit cold. And I want to do some air tests on my various machines and update my VDI cheat sheets. And just want to, you know, I just want to see what the ugly box will do to clean these up. I'm also going to try to clean up what was my first ever mercury dime that I found. It was a super exciting find. I discovered it on an old beach that you know had been pounded many, many times. It was about 10 inches down below a lifeguard chair. Oh, look at that. Hey, hey. Got our first Mercury. 1936 or 1938 Mercury time. There we go. And it is pretty darn toasty. As you can see, I'll maybe put a close-up in here as well. So we're going to go ahead and use the Ugly Box. A couple of the accessories that come with the Ugly Box. I'll explain these in a little bit and see how well they clean up. Let's get started. All right, the first thing I've done here, I have a small container. You don't need a super large container. This will be appropriate for the size of the items that I'm cleaning here today. And I have the brine mix that comes with the Ugly Box. I will mix, oh gosh, I'm going to put about a teaspoon of that into the uh, water here. We'll see if that's sufficient. I don't think you need a terrible, terribly high amount of the brine solution to get started here. We'll give this a mix and we'll get the ugly box set up. Okay, just referring to my cheat sheet here that comes with my ugly box, you can kind of see um, just a little bit of the overview. There's a nice little instruction manual that comes with the ugly box. I'm also going to put a link as to where you can purchase these if you're you're interested. But uh, Frank from Detect America makes these and does an exceptional job. And be on the lookout for his book. He's putting together a book which will be coming out shortly. All right, we'll go ahead and do the trine here first. And again, you can see one side's in a little bit better shape than the other. But there is some black tarnish on here. Let's see what the ugly box can do to clean this up. Okay, we'll go ahead. I want to get a before and after picture of this and we'll get her set up in the solution in a moment. Okay, so you can see here I have two connections. One that's black that is hooked up to the catalyst, a piece of carbon that's inside the solution here, um, as well as the coin or our target. And um, after you use these once or twice, it's probably advisable to clean them because they, they will corrode. They will corrode. Now, Frank includes an extra set of these in, in the box, but you can kind of notice that um, even after my first couple uses, I have a little bit of corrosion on the wire with the catalyst. But that is hooked up to a piece of carbon, as I, as I mentioned here. It's in, the, it's in the solution. And my coin is hooked up to the coin connection, so hooked up to my target, which indeed in this case is a coin okay i've got the power cranked up why not we're going to give this a try and if need be we're going to plug in these two different accessories here the thunder and and the thrasher one is um one vibrates to help 
dislodge some of that surface material. The other is a very, very um, um, mild polisher, let's say, with, uh, with what appears to be some steel wool type of material on the top here. We're going to give this a minute here. I'm going to let you know how long I've had it hooked up and we'll see what kind of progress she makes. Okay, here we're using the thunder. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, this is about 10 minutes now into the solution here. I'm going to go ahead and turn my power off on the ugly box. We're going to go ahead, get this coin cleaned up here and uh, give, you, give you a look and then we'll try another coin here. Okay, so here we go. Here's the here's the coin after about uh, 10 or 12 minutes, I'll say, with a few applications of the Thunder and the Thrasher. Pretty noticeable difference here. And clearly now visible as, as what it is, a trime, as opposed to previously. So pretty impressive results here. Let's see how it does on this toasty mercury coin that we talked about earlier. All right, let's just see how, okay, let's see how the mercury dime is faring here. So it's been about 10 minutes and I've given it both an application of the Thunder and the Thrasher and you can see we are making some headway here. Let's put her back in here and let her let her cook for a little longer. All right, we're just going to take a quick peek here at the progress on the mercury dime. Pretty darn impressive here. Pretty darn impressive. That's a few applications of the Thunder and Trasher as well, but you can kind of see here a marked difference here versus where we started. So really cool. Really cool. Get that back in the solution here. I'm going to let it cook for just a few more minutes, and then we'll do a wrap-up here and take a look at the before and after. One other thing I wanted to mention, you know, it does say to do this in a ventilated area. I'm near a slider, sliding door, which I have cracked open. But again, these are some of the instructions that come with the ugly box that you can see here, um, you know, and what's included in the basic kit so great little great little item maybe to add to your Christmas list here if indeed you want to clean up some of your coins Okay, so we have our mercury dime in there cooking for a little longer. Meanwhile, I just wanted to comment this digging cloth that you're seeing here. Um, this is actually made by Mrs. History Digger. It's made out of a, almost like a denim type of a material, almost like you would find on a tarp. And this is, uh, I love this. I don't know how to tell you how much I enjoy this. When I dig in parks, you know, I use this to put my dirt on my fill. So I'm going to include a giveaway for a um, free digging, digging cloth, doesn't matter where you are, I'll go ahead and ship it, but uh, just go ahead and comment on this video. Um, any comment will suffice, and, and make sure that you're a subscriber. So those that comment on this video will go ahead and use a random um, generator, a picker comment uh, picker to go ahead and identify the winner, and I'll keep the contest open until the end of November and we'll get the winner a free digging cloth in the mail. Okay, well there we have it. We um, had a real successful experience here with the ugly box. So we first started with our trime and you can see in the close-ups, the before and after, that really cleaned up well. But I was really impressed with the job it did on the toasty mercury dime. This was my first Mercury dime I ever found, and it was it was in sand underneath a lifeguard chair, as I said, and it was in pretty bad shape. And wow, did it clean it up! Really cleaned it up nicely.
So there you have it. Um, check out the links I provided earlier if you want to learn more about the Ugly Box. But hey, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more. And as always, if you like these videos, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Hit the notification bell. Thanks a lot, folks. Happy digging.